Hello friends, welcome to my channel. We are dealing with the topic factorization of algebraic expressions. So these are the topic classes and chapter name where we use this factorization topic. So the first question, this is from recap C and G. I told you about two rules uh, in C, G, I, S. C is for common, G is for grouping. Okay. So we will use these two and then I will start with the I. The question is from factorization. As soon as you read factorization, you need to remember C, G, I, S rule. First one is common. So can you take something common over here? So yes, we can take here common. What is common? 6 minus P. So what is left over here? P then minus and then 6. So this is the answer. So make a right tick over here. Yeah. Now next one again. Factorize 4 terms are there. Can you see something common in this? So common is not possible. Grouping. So can we do some grouping over here? Okay. So grouping is possible. So grouping is possible with three terms together and one term separately or two terms together, two terms together. This way also grouping is possible. So let us see which one is common. So you can see that 10 and 10, these coefficients are same. So we will rearrange like that. These two terms should come together. And here the sign is minus. So minus 10 P S minus 3 R Q plus 3 R S. Now from this first two you can take common 10 at the same time P is also common. So what is left over here Q minus here S. From the next two what is common over here? So we can take minus sign common or just wait for the minus sign here will be Q. Okay. So minus 3R is common. So this is Q. Since we have taken Q common, this sign will get changed. So this will become minus and from here S is left. So now again you can see that Q minus S is common. So what is left? 10P minus 3R. <clears throat> Come for the next sum. The first thing common. Can you take common? Yes, numbers are common. So we can take common 14 and 7. So 7 number is common. Now M, M raised to the power 3 and M raised to the power 2. So smaller number always we take common. So M square is common. N or N square. So N is smaller. Now 7 to the 14, m raised to the power 2, m raised to the power 3, it means we require m, n and n already we have taken common, minus 7, 1 the 7, coefficient 1 we don't write, m square, m square that is common, now n and n square it means we require 1 n, so this is the answer. So here we are using the first one common. Now again factorize. The first thing is common. Can you take something common? Yes, numbers are also common. So we will go for the common. Which numbers are common here? 3 is common. 3 is common and 15 also and 6 also. So take 3 common. Powers you can see here 4, 3 and 2. 2 is the smallest one. So we will take x square common. Now what is left inside the bracket 3, 2 is 6, power will be 4 minus 2 will give you 2, so x square. Then minus 3, 5 is 15, so power will be 3 minus 2, 1, we don't write 1, plus 3x square, 3x square, so 1 is left, so this is the way we find out common, okay. Further also we can solve it or not that I will explain you with the I rule and S rule. Okay. Till here I have explained about the C and G taking common and 
making the group further also we can solve that i will explain you after i and s sometimes it's possible sometimes this is not possible so now we are going to start with i so what is i i means identity three identities standard identities we have done a plus b whole square a minus b whole square a square minus b square so if common is not possible grouping is not possible then we try to convert in one identity out of this three how to do that i will explain you so the first thing factor is common nothing is there to common grouping grouping is also not possible over here grouping now next one is identity so can we convert this into some identity since all the three are plus sign and three terms are there it means we are going to use a plus b whole square so what does it mean first term can we write down as a square of any number last term can we write down square of any number yes so the middle one should be 2 multiplied by first term multiplied by second term this is our identity and check are you getting the same yes we are getting the same what does it mean which one is the identity a plus 1 whole square so these are the factors one more example so that your doubts will be clear so the factorization first one common is not possible grouping is also not possible now we will go for identity we have three identities minus sign is there and three terms are there it means we will use a minus b whole square okay so first term can we write down as a square so y square can we write down y as a whole square can we write down 16 yes you can write down 16 as a whole square which one is the middle term middle term is always minus sorry minus don't write minus middle term is 2ab so middle term should be 2 into first term is y and second term is 4 just find out this and this is it same 4 to the 8y so you are getting the same what does it mean which identity is there y minus 4 whole square so this way we are trying to convert into one of the identity so the direct identity we can use come for the third sum common is not the grouping is not possible we can go for the identity so identity three terms are there and middle term is negative it means we can use a minus b whole square what is a minus b whole square first term whole square so can we write down first term yes 3d whole square we can write then last one is b square so can you write down the last one as a whole square yes we can write down which one will be the middle term minus 2 into first term into second term okay so we can write down this minus 2 into first term is 3d and second term is 1 so just find out this one and this one is same after multiplication are you getting the same so 3 to the 6d you are getting same what does it mean the identity is 3d minus 1 whole square come for the fourth one common is not there grouping is not there identity we can use only two terms are there and middle sign is minus it means we will use identity a square minus b square so can you write down first term as a square of any term so we can write down 3y whole square 16 how can you write down 4 square 16 and what is the identity over here once we add and once we subtract so once you add and once you subtract so this is the answer so this is the way cgis your i represents identity these three standard identities now we will solve few more sums for the practice so fifth sum again 
taking common is not possible grouping is not possible identity so only two terms are there middle term is minus so which identity you can use a square minus b square so how can we write down this as a whole square 7a whole square minus 25b square we can write down 5b whole square so a square minus b square what is the answer once we add and another bracket we subtract so this is the answer sixth sum again common is not possible grouping is not possible we will go for identity three terms are there all are positive so we can go for a plus b whole square so how can we write down y as a whole square just come for the last term 4 as a 2 square and your middle term should be 2 into first term into second term before writing identity first you check are these two same 2 to the 4 y you are getting same what does it mean your identity is y plus 2 whole square come for the seventh sum again common is not possible grouping is not possible we will go for identity three terms are there middle term is negative it means we will use a minus b whole square so how can you write down the first term r whole square come for the last term six whole square the middle term should be two multiplied by second term first term multiplied by third term so just check it this and this is it same yes same so what does it mean your identity is r minus 6 whole square come for the 8 sum common is not possible grouping is not possible identity we can use only two terms are there middle sign is minus so a square minus b square so how can you write down a raised to the power 4 as a a square so we can write down this a square whole square 2 to the 4 exponent property laws of exponent minus b square whole square so what is the identity once we add inside the bracket whatever is there once we add and once we subtract now can you see that a square minus b square this is also identity so how can we write down this a square minus b square once we add and once we subtract the same identity I am using here twice, two times. So these are the factors. Come for the ninth sum. Common is not possible. Grouping is not possible. We will go for identity. So which identity we will use a square minus b square. So how can you write down this a square whole square 81 we can write down this as a 9 square. So now once we will add whatever is inside the bracket once we add and once we subtract. Can you see that the second part this also 9 also we can write down in some other way. So again we will continue this. This type of questions are very important. So how can you write down this? A whole square minus 3 whole square. So once again we can use the property. Other part write down as it is. So inside the bracket once we will add and once we will subtract. So these 3 are the factors of A raised to the power 4 minus 81. few more examples factorize so the first one we should go for c can you see that something is common no common is not possible grouping is not possible we will go for identity only two terms are there so we will go for a square minus b square so first term how can you write down a b whole square minus y whole square so once we will add 
and once we will subtract come for the next sum first thing can you take something common no grouping it's not possible identity we can go middle sign is minus three terms are there so we can go for a minus b whole square so the first term how can you write down as a whole square 9y whole square last one is 16 so you can write down 4x whole square so the middle term should be 2 into first term into second term just once you multiply this and find out are they same so 9 to the 18 18 for the 72 x y you are getting the same it means you can write down the identity 9 y sorry it should be minus because your middle sign is minus so it should be minus minus 4 x whole square come for the next sum again Common is not possible, grouping is not possible, we will use identity, three terms are there, all are positive, it means A plus B whole square. See, these concepts are very, very useful in higher classes, that's what I am taking more sums for the practice. So now we can write down this 2R whole square and last one we can write down as a 1 square. So the middle term should be 2 into first term into second term. Just see that this and this is same. Yes, this is same. So we can say that 2R plus 1 whole square. 13 sum. Common is not possible. Grouping is not possible. We will go for identity. Two terms are there. Middle one is minus sign. So we will use identity A square minus B square. So 144 we can write down as a 12 square minus B raised to the power 6. We can write down B cube whole square exponent law of exponent. So once we will add. So 12 minus 12 plus b cube and the next one is 12 minus b cube. So this is the answer. Come for the 14th sum. Can you take something common? So common is not possible. Four terms are there. So grouping. Yes, grouping we can do. So grouping you can do with the two terms or three terms. If I take any two common, so not possible to solve so i will try to keep three terms together so all the y square terms i am writing together plus 2y plus 1 and minus x square what can you say about this y square plus 2y plus 1 this is y plus 1 whole square identity and this is minus x whole square identity so now once again we can add and subtract so y plus 1 plus x and another bracket y plus 1 minus x so these are the two factors this question is very very important and something different so from cgis rule i told you about c c means common G means grouping, I means identity, what is S? So watch my next video to find out what is S. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video and also to watch my next video.